Tyken oil chiller units provide a variety of different ways it can troubleshoot alarms on the unit as far as for low voltage, oil flow, and also cooling issues. To access your alarm history, you will hold the right hand button until you see the alarms pop up. This will give you the ability to scroll up and down through each alarm in the history to help with the diagnosis. To get out of the alarms, you'll press the enter button all the way to the left and you'll be back into your standard mode screen. With a U1 alarm, you have three main reasons why this could be happening. One would be the main voltage coming in, two could be the phase of the main voltage, and also the CPU board. When diagnosing a U1 alarm, you're going to need to remove the top panel of the unit, find your one, two, three inputs for main voltage, ensure that your phasing of your main power is correct. If your phase is correct, you will need to remove the plastic cover, check leg to leg, ensure you have 200 volts, then check leg to ground to ensure you don't have any shorts in the unit. If the power and phasing is correct, you'll need to replace your CPU board. When the problem with the chiller has been remedied, you will have to cycle the machine power, allow for 10 seconds, and then power back up, and the alarm on the chiller unit should be clear.